Today we're going to look at Voronoi fracture restricted to just an area. We will begin by creating a simple object to demonstrate. I'm going to pick the cylinder here. You can use any object and just change the orientation. Then we create the Voronoi fracture and use that as the parent of the object. Next we need to add a dynamics tag to the Voronoi. This will be a rigid body tag from the simulation tags drop down. Then we need to add a MoGraph selection tag to our Voronoi. So under the MoGraph selection drop down we find our selection tag and we need to make a selection for it to register. In the attributes for the MoGraph selection tag switch on use fields. Then remove the freeze from the list as we will be using our own field. In this instance I'm going to use the linear field that seems to give the best results. We can then rotate the linear field Finally, select the Dynamics tag and drag the MoGraph selection into the Dynamic tag, Dynamic MoGraph selection area. This will now limit the dynamics to the linear field that you have created. In this example here, in the linear field, I've set the contour mode to Step. Also, on the MoGraph selection tag, I've made sure that the linear field blending is set to max and I've pressed clear to clear any selections we might already have on the tag.